Is it worth staying dead for 20 to 30 minutes just to get a piece of loot that might be out of reach for you as a casual player right now in the game? People are buying and selling horrific vision runs and in this video I'd like to share my personal opinion on how it feels and if you should buy or sell those runs. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Gyro, particularly warm welcome to you if you've joined the channel recently. I cover World of Warcraft topics every couple of days and today we're talking about people buying and selling horrific visions. Um, what would we call it? Well, let's call them horrific vision powertrains. It's because people basically serve as a train that carries certain carriages as they run through people that buy their services. Should you be using those services or should you be offering those services, um, services to some other people? Well, let's just first uh, allow ourselves a little bit of time to remind ourselves what horrific visions really are. What do they give us right now in the game as casuals? They are arguably, well, I would really, really fight tooth and nail for this statement. I think that they are the best solo friendly experience in World of Warcraft patch 8.3 before Shadowlands launches. What we're discussing today, however, this uh, topic is something that arguably breaks this solo progression, breaks this solo experience and in my opinion takes away from longevity of the game and content at least in my personal eyes as I represent the crowd of these casuals right now who play the game a lot and we need as much of fun engaging content that we can do solo. So this obviously comes at a price of um, giving you a few more pieces of gear, I suppose. So you choose to give up on some of this solo experience, solo progression, this exciting stuff, but you get something in return. Well, obviously there are pros and cons to everything. So this topic, as you can imagine, is Controversial, I suppose, um, because if not everything, then a lot in World of Warcraft is about the loot. Loot, progression, item levels make you feel like you are increasing your power and growing and sets a certain goal for you in the game. And I do know that a lot of people are into pet battles, playing the auction house or just collecting cosmetic stuff. You'd have to agree though that those are mini games of World of Warcraft, not the core structure of how the game is built and how character progression through the game was designed. So horrific visions give you gear and pretty decent gear too if you're a casual and not pushing high mythic plus or heroic Nihilotha raids for example. So the gear, I don't know, uh, the gear increases with the number of chests the completion of the specific objectives in case you are not particularly familiar with horrific visions and as an example something that i fairly comfortably clear on my um, highest geared casual characters three mask clears gives me um, a weekly 460 an item level 460 gear as a solo player obviously and i think i got a 465 last time i did a clear with four masks but it's been a few weeks ago because I did find four masks at my item level, at my skill level even, um, and I guess tolerance to stress, the willingness to put myself through that much stress, um, that is a bit of a top for me right now. And I haven't done it ever since then. So I'm normally running three mask runs. So 460 gear, pretty good, I'd say, pretty good. So we can extrapolate this and say, even though I haven't cleared five masks at the moment of recording of this video, five masks presumably gives you a 470. So people sell horrific vision runs. You see sometimes those little ads for groups in the pre-made group finder, uh, kind of around the same area where you find the groups for your Mythic Plus runs. And sometimes, fairly often, actually I have to say, in the prime time, kind of of the evening time of play, you see people post um, just chat messages in chat, kind of like WTS, want to sell, horrific vision run, get your high level gear, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. How does it work in case you are 
really really unfamiliar with this in a nutshell someone who is higher item level well highly geared yeah because you do need to have power to train people through obviously with top rank of legendary cloak rank 15 and presumably all mother's archives talents open that make it a lot a lot a lot easier for a person to run through divisions they group up with you they get you into a vision where you probably will die pretty quickly either from damage or from the loss of sanity and they keep running the vision through potentially resurrecting you in the end so that you can get the loot from the end boss for, well from the chests as, a, as an end result right it's possible that they don't even have to res you for you to get the loot at the end maybe it happens automatically upon the death of the boss i actually don't know i actually don't know how that works because i haven't done this enough i've done only a couple of these runs more as a proof of concept for myself before i talk to you guys about this um, and i did resurrect people before engaging with the end boss as you will see from this footage on the screen but we have not pushed particularly hard in this footage um, that it will i'm sure expose to you unless it already has without a doubt so you will see that it's not a hard push it's just a one bonus area and then i did realize as i was running through this on my protection paladin who is decently geared has zero issues clearing fully clearing ogrima even with a couple of masks and stuff i thought it's going to be very easy but we're going to talk about this next it wasn't trivial i suppose um and it was fairly lengthy so that's why i cut it short more as a proof of concept that is more about this footage to kind of explain what's going on right so should you be using those powertrain through horrific vision services or perhaps offering those services to people as always as with everything in world of warcraft um, it is a personal choice i never bought or sold a run like that i offered like I just said, a couple of them for free, more to try out how it works in the group setting. As I've been, as you know, especially my regulars would know, I've been running Horrific Vision solo pretty much since the very beginning and very foundation of this channel. So I'm not in a guild because I'm a dedicated solo player and I don't want to impact other people, you know, by my unavailability. They rely on me and I'm unavailable or something like this. I'm a working man. Um, but if I was in a guild, so speculatively, if you're a guildmate or, as it's a bit closer to me, a member of my YouTube community is desperate to finish a Horrific Vision quest or get at least some gear to push their item level higher, then my position is that I will run them through. In, in case you want to group up with me, by the way, listening to this, leave a comment down below, add me as a friend and when I'm online, I will be more than happy to do that for you let's just get that out of the way for free obviously so selling however and buying however brings it to a kind of a bit of a different level so we kind of have to look about the time investment versus fun loss and all of those kind of uh, extra variables i suppose so let's talk about those a little bit so maybe things that um, things to keep in mind what all this experience comes with if you have never done this before either as a train or as a carriage so first of all mobs of horrific visions do scale with every player added to your group that is one main thing for you to know as a train so you think ah that's easy content i'm just gonna plow this through that was my first that is this footage that you guys are watching right now that was my first impression because on this paladin i just literally just plow through when there are no masks attached and there were no masks involved in this particular run example run but mobs scale my rough very rough assessment is that they scale by about 120 percent for each added player or put more simply trying not trying to be precise here it feels roughly like one extra player in your group adds about one extra mask difficulty to a horrific vision so 20 25 percent of difficulty added mobs are thicker they seem to hit a little harder but mostly it's just how long it takes to kill them that is what i felt yeah very very roughly so it was a breeze for me as a normal non-masked full clear on my paladin with item level around ballpark of 455 
and Twilight Devastation 3 being the DPS boost kind of heavy hitting thing that I use on my protection specs generally to plow through horrific visions. That what I, that's what I've done uh, on my previous runs reported to you guys many times. But it's not as breezy when you are actually carrying someone along. That's what I have to tell you. If your, per your person, the one that you are taking through, is low geared, or at the very least when their cloak rank is like one or two, whatever, they won't be able to keep up with you. That's what you have to understand. They won't be able to just at least even have fun and run behind you. They won't. Uh, or help you substantially otherwise anyhow, right? Um, so in this particular footage that you're watching, um, I did resurrect a friend uh, of mine here um, before Thrall, just as a proof of concept again. So they did join the fight with Thrall and two of us, like Thrall is normally a pushover, uh, but when two of us started hammering on him, even if that increase of difficulty of 120% happened yeah, on him, I didn't notice it. It was just a pushover. Like we really slaughtered him. Okay, that's what, that's what it felt like. But the uh, problem is that the rest of the run, the other mini bosses, the other areas that you need to clear before you come to Thrall, and let's be honest, you'd have to do a lot more than what I did here, in order to make it worth the while for your friend there waiting for that loot because all they're doing it for is loot right all they're coming in into the horrific vision for well other than maybe completing their quest and getting that you know the the chapter of the book the page of the book that's gonna rank up their cloak other than that they're doing it for the loot so for me it took a little bit of time quite a bit of time and all I could do was clear one big area and kill the boss together. And it was lengthy, it was boring, it was, you know, it was a drag, basically, yeah? So for them to be excited about the loot, you'd have to do a full clear, preferably with masks. So it would take, it would take ages before they're able to join you and contribute in DPS or whatever they, they're gonna do. So you have to keep that in mind for sure. All I'm gonna say is that, in my opinion, if I was a carriage, if I was picturing myself coming in there, dying to damage or to sanity loss, and then lying there dead until the end for 30 minutes, it would be horribly boring, horribly unfun for me. So if you are like me, I recommend against it. I do recommend against it. And you have to understand, when, when we talk about the loot, when we talk about time investment, WoW and Horrific Visions uh, specifically, it's not Diablo, and bear with me, I'll explain. In Diablo, you do those power level runs where the person comes in with you into a rift and they stand by the entrance, they don't go anywhere because they know any spit from the enemy is gonna kill them instantly. So they just stand there and you run through. First of all, there are builds that allow you to run very, very fast, very, very fast. And these people, ding, 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 they level up very, very fast and get a lot of gear in the process as well because often, you clear an area, you kill some elites, you kill some groups and some good gear drops that these people could use. So they teleport to you, get the gear. It's All I'm saying is that in Diablo, it's a lot faster and a lot more exciting, a lot more exciting. This very remotely resembles that process, very remotely resembles it, but it's not fun. You just dead there as a carriage, as a person being carried, yeah, somewhere there at the entrance and your train, so to speak, so that the person who takes you through, that person is just running through and tries to kill things as fast as they can while you go and get a coffee. Like, I really, nah, it's, just, it's, just not, it's just not for me, right? Um, so everything, again, hangs and depends on the time investment, I suppose. If you are being taken through by a highly mobile and skilled DPS in 470 gear, Let's say ideally something like Havoc Demon Hunter, yeah? The experience will look and feel very different from what I've demonstrated to you here in the background on my very much lower geared Protection Paladin, okay? Of course it will be quicker and uh, they'll clear, if not the full vision in the same time of this footage in the background, then they'd be close to finishing it in 20 or so minutes, probably would be my assessment. Um, so I guess this is where it becomes negotiable for yourself. Is it worth staying dead for 20 minutes to get a 470, 460 piece of loot? Probably yes. I'd say so yes. As a carriage, probably. 
if it doesn't take too long yeah if it doesn't take as much of a drag as it took me in this proof of concept run and in the end my friend and me we get 420 just because i cleared one bonus area slowly and whatever we were just kind of testing it right um so yeah uh, and that's that's basically these are my thoughts on this uh, summarizing it all i in, for me if i had to pay for this kind of service it's uh, like i don't think it's worth your time and in-game money to buy these services especially so close to shadowlands expansion release where the gear you'll buy will become obsolete very very quickly it's just not worth it in my opinion but if you are one of those bored and confident with horrific vision runs uh, highly mobile highly geared dps characters and it doesn't bother you to you know sell your services to others if it doesn't kind of tick you the wrong way i suppose if you want to turn this into a bit of a in-game business type of stuff uh, rather than offering these services for free to your community or to your guildies or to someone else or enjoy this yourself solo as they were intended to be i think then i guess why not i don't judge it's just definitely definitely not for me you know and one last thing don't make it look like you're spamming channels uh, don't become a spammer don't become one of those people who are advertising mythic plus for sale runs in the mythic plus group ui because it's only a matter of time until blizzard cracks on on it cracks down on it and i think that they really should crack down on it and should really punish those people because they're turning turning the game into a billboard and i really really am strictly against it so what do you think about it is it worth your personal time and gold and boredom i did to it subjectively um as the carriage obviously because it's a little more fun for the train i guess uh to get that piece of loot uh, to offer people that piece of loot that they otherwise couldn't get on their own let me know in the comments down below what do you play have you gone high enough in horrific visions have you actually bought any of these services in the past and how much did people charge you i never inquired because it's really not my cup of tea but i have an opinion about this and I love Horrific Visions, as you guys know, I run them all the time, at the very least until pre-patch Shadowlands starts, and then we can just nicely move on. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Subscribe if you haven't already. More videos are coming to you every couple of days. And I'll be speaking to you then, very, very soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.